Big seats, though. Shall we? Luca and the Mavs. Man, that's a bad man right there. Coming off that 4-2 win over the Jazz, and of course the Suns 4-2 over New Orleans. And we're in Phoenix for this one. Suns come out with a lot of energy. Yeah, yeah and, I, and I didn't even, I wasn't really concerned about the way this game finished either. This game was, they just kind of shut it down. They jumped out 22 to seven mm. in this game. But this dude's a bad man. Man, he just be bullying little dudes, don't he? <laughs> and big ones too? Uh -huh. But they put a look out on him though. Oh, cash out. Jay Crowder for three. Bang, bang. Crowder had 11 matches. One more. His high for this postseason. This guy had started off hot. The first half. Cleaver was a machine today from that corner. Yeah, he kept him close within striking distance early. Luca on his way to a 45 point night. That ties him with Jimmy Butler for the uh, playoff high to this point. Tell you what, DeAndre Aiden has really worked on that little 12 foot jumper, and it's, it's money. Saw Devin Booker there. Mm. Chris Paul finally missed tonight after going 14 for 14 last time we saw him. What a bomb. 69-56 was your halftime score. There's Aiton again. 25 and 8. Like he said, he just rolled hard to the basket and made sure that. Oh, don't look at him, Devin. Don't look at him. He can't guard me. Booker had 23. Look at the link here on Mikel Bridges as he blocks Reggie Bullock. What a, that's incredible. That's incredible. That looked like that Herb Jones block from the yeah. other night. Yeah, Same did. kind of a deal. Except for one is in the second round. Yeah. Cam Johnson for three. I'm always surprised when Cam Johnson missed a shot. He had 17 shot. tonight. Oh, oh Andy. This was the yeah. play of the game yeah, right sure. now. How about you? JaVale McGee. <laughs> there you go, Shaq. Mm. This one, I think uh, the Suns just kind of started, like, hey, let's just get this thing over with. Ball for three. Mm. And then somehow he gets that to go off glass. Off the glass. Oh, that's a foul. He, 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 that's why he threw it up. He didn't call it. So they had a 21-point lead under 10 minutes to go, wind up winning at 121 to 114. Um, they have shot at least 50% in all seven of their playoff games. All their starters in double figures tonight. Third wire to wire, as we said. Third wire to wire win of this postseason out of their five wins. Uh, let's hear from Mavs head coach Jason Kidd. Yeah, I, I thought um, we talked about it, you know, um, turnovers. And then, um, you know, we just didn't get off to a good start, but we didn't, we didn't give in. We kept playing. Um, we talked about it at halftime, um, being only down, I think, 13, um, that we've been here before. And, uh, you know, we think at some point we cut it to four, um, as we've done in the past. And uh, it w I don't know if we had a three, a good look at three that we missed. But um, we just couldn't get over the hump. But um, we didn't. This is probably, I think, the first time we've had a you know slow start in the playoffs. But I like the way we, re we uh, responded. Jason, what did you think of the way that Luca was playing against what he was facing on defense? And then in contrast, what he was able to kind of get from from teammates to support his big scoring night? Yeah, he got whatever he wanted. Um, when you look at the shots, uh, you know, in the paint, um, behind the arc, um, mid-range. Um, and then also I thought he got his teammates some, some great looks that – we normally have made, um, but I thought he played great. Um, we didn't play him the whole game, but again, in that fourth quarter, those guys uh, start to get a rhythm and, and start to play a little bit harder, but I thought he played great. Um, I know he's going to look at those turnovers and say that he could be better, but he did everything to help his team uh, in the position to try to win on the road. What's the challenge? So... Is there a carryover, or is, is it beneficial, the way Dallas finished that game, beneficial going into game two? Uh, no, I think it's, in the playoffs, it's, I mean, I, it would be in a regular season because you're going into it another game and you're a different team, different environment. But these are their own entities that you have to make corrective errors like because there's certain things. DeAndre Ayton is going to roll aggressively to the basket after he sets the pick. He's going to set the pick and look for the ball. That's not going to change in game two. So now what do we have to do differently to do something differently to him? 
Um, so I don't know if it carries over. I always felt like each game was its own entity uh, in the playoffs and never, like, carried. Shooting does carry over. Like, if I shot the ball well, I could feel in a rhythm shooting the basketball. But winning, it, I always felt it was in different entities. Yeah, and I think when you're down 20 and the other team kind of packs it in and you make a late run, you never thought the Mavs was going to win that game. And, listen, they were up 20, and they took the feet off the pedal. So I don't think – like, I didn't see no strategy changes. They just started making some shots. But the Suns weren't playing with the same level of, of uh, enthusiasm. I mean, they thought that game was over, but you never thought the Mavs were going to win that game. And then if you're the, the Mavs, you know, the others, you know, they definitely have to play, play better because Luka and Kieber kept them in the first half, even though they were still down, uh, down double digits. Spencer has to play better. Uh, Brunson. Brunson has to play better because they really didn't shoot the ball very well, and then they made the, the late comeback. I don't know if, you know, Phoenix packing in, but Dallas probably feel that they can have carryover. They, 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 you know, the others just need to play better. Well, I thought, also, you got to mention Spencer and Dinwiddie in that, too. Yes, I did. Because Brunson and, and, uh, Brunson and Dinwiddie were the two guys who were carrying the mouths before uh, Luka came back against Utah. Yeah, and, and, and Bullock was shooting it well. Dorian yeah. Finney Smith was shooting yeah, it yeah. well, but they didn't. And, and they did hit. They hit 16 threes tonight, 16 out of 39. But this is a team that was plus 132 against Utah from three. It's but, just a different kind yeah, of but, series but Jason, now, a different animal when you got But Jason Kidd said, he said, there's no Gobert and Whiteside because those guys ain't going to score. Aiden's going to get a minimum of 20 every game. So I'm saying it's because he gonna be, a series. Because yeah. he's going to be living in the paint. And I think also if you're Brunson, you got to say what was successful for me. And when he had two feet in the paint, scoring or passing, when he had the ability to beat you off the dribble, both feet were in the paint, he was physical enough to overpower guards, bump them off, and get his shot off. Tonight, he lived around the three-point line. And he got in some first-half foul yeah, trouble. He lived around the three-point line. Aggressively, he's got to get two feet in the paint. 121-114, that is your final score. Phoenix takes game one. Game two will be right here on TNT.